not responding to topical minoxidil, here's why. Minoxidil is actually a pro-drug, which means that on its own, it's basically useless. What we need from the body is enzymes that are gonna break it down into its active form. So without these enzymes, it doesn't really work. These enzymes are called SALT1A1 and SALT2A1. And what they do is activate the minoxidil molecule so that they can actually stimulate hair growth. Now here's the problem. Some people have very low levels of these enzymes in their scalp, so you'll apply minoxidil day and night and nothing actually happens. This is because your scalp doesn't have enough of the enzyme to activate the minoxidil for it to work. So what can we do if you wanna carry on with the topical minoxidil? Well, there's two things. You can start with a little bit of derma rolling, which is not my favorite thing, but it can help with penetration of the minoxidil into the scalp. However, derma rolling more than once a week might lead to fibrosis of the skin, which is bad for hair growth and bad for your skin. The second thing we can do is add tretinoin. Now tretinoin does two things. It can help with the penetration of the minoxidil into the skin, but it also upregulates the SALT1A1 enzyme, which will help with the activation of the minoxidil. Or you could go with my preferred option, which is taking oral minoxidil. For me, oral is a lot easier. It's easier to remember, so compliance is higher. It's also broken down by the liver, so there's no problems with the enzymes because the liver carries all those enzymes to break down the minoxidil and you don't have to apply to your scalp twice a day. You just take one tablet and forget about it. Much easier than the pain in the ass of applying something to your head twice a day. One disclaimer I will add is that it is off-label use for hair growth, so please do it through your physician who will be tracking you throughout your treatment. So for patients who don't respond to topical minoxidil, I usually tell them to just skip the hassle and go straight to oral minoxidil. It's a lot easier to take, it's cleaner, and it's better for long-term results. I also think it's more effective. So there you have it.